Duke and Pines. I woke up with Duke Ellington and Pines, like there was nothing else. No muesli, no porridge, just Ellington and Pines, and it seemed beautiful. So I needed to write you a postcard telling you I am okay, that yes, I still love you, though it's been a sacrificial three years. But every so often I come across the smell of pink soap, pine sap stuck between cords, or a greyhound sniffing my hand, and I think, I ought to write a long letter that says, I'm doing well. I have Duke Ellington, and the forest is high, with berries that stain my boots red, like our walls used to feel. And yes, I am in some woods, literal or metaphorical, you can put me wherever is easy, in a room where the wind always withers, or in the trunk of a dead tree. I always put you in a dress you never wore, but I used to touch. Every day, getting my shirt or tie, or sometimes I would open the door and look at the lichened green thing. Wonder why it had to hang like an unwatered fern. Wonder if it ever wanted you the way I sometimes wanted you. And of course, it was just a dress, and it could not say. And of course, I was just a young man, and I couldn't say, even about a dress that did nothing but hang. I couldn't talk about it. So what chance was there for us when I would take walks every night and count 1,000 street lamps? And if I ever awoke with Ellington and Pines, you know I would not wake you and tell you, would not write it on scrap paper and leave it for breakfast, would just keep Duke Ellington and Pines in my mind would walk with it, take it to the pictures, buy it a pop, let it rest on my shoulder during long journeys. I would smoke Duke Ellington in pines with friends, and so I am today, smoking Duke Ellington, wanting to write him in pines.